Hello, everybody, and welcome to what should be about the last week of the second nine weeks. We've done. We've been talking a lot about some different ideas in theory, um, and some different things like tonality and meter. And I just wanted to take some time to kind of go back and really learn some tunes. Um, some of these tunes will probably be familiar to you. I know the first couple will probably pop right into your head and several others you'll already know. But some of these tunes you probably won't know and we're going to get to know them a little bit today. The reason for that is during the third nine weeks we're going to start working on uh, learning the piano a little bit. Now if we return to in-person learning then uh, we're, well, and for those of you who are uh, staying virtual at home, we're going to be using your iPads. Now, if you have a real piano at home or a keyboard at home, that will also work uh, great and probably better than using the iPad. Um, but starting next week, we're going to start learning a little bit of how to play some basic things on the piano. So let's just have some fun, learn some tunes today. Uh, go over some tunes that you're already familiar with. So this first one, you'll all know really well. This is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Here we go. One, two, ready, sing. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. I'm guessing that sounded pretty good because it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. We all know that one. Next one you're probably familiar with too. This is London Bridge. Listen to it. Oops, sorry. Listen to it first. Next one probably a lot of you are familiar with, but maybe not everybody. This is When the Saints Go Marching In. When the Saints Go Marching In was originally written as a funeral song, but it's very upbeat. It comes uh, from uh, New Orleans and Louisiana, uh, and in their funeral marches, they started very slow and somber, and as they made their way towards the cemetery, uh, where the person would be buried, they would get faster and faster and more excited and more excited because it's like you're getting to send this person off to a better place. They're going off to heaven and everybody is going to be excited because this person is going to be in a better place. Here it is. break that down into sections. Repeat after me. We're going to take the words out as well. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, let's make that a little bit bigger sections. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 
great. If you didn't get that perfect, just go back in the video and go through it again until it feels more comfortable. Let's now do the whole thing without the piano all together. Do 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 Great, now let's do it with the piano. We'll just do it all together. Here we go. All right. Good. The next one is pretty simple. This is called Little Tom Tinker. It goes like this. <laughs> one difference about this tune is it is in triple meter. The other three we've done so far have been in duple meter. Repeat after me. And here's the whole thing. Great. I think we're going to get through two more tunes today. The next one you're probably already familiar with. This is Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Let me sing it for you once, and then you can sing it back to me. Ready? Ready, sing. Good. The next one most of you are probably familiar with in one form or another. It's This Old Man. Some of you might know it as the Barney song, where it's sung a lot slower and with different words. But we're going to do it with this old man. Here it is. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on his thumb with a knick-knack. Paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Repeat after me. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on his thumb. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. I know, that was really quick. Let's do it one more time, just to make sure we have it. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on his thumb. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. I'm going to challenge you and see if we can do the whole thing already. 
Here it is. Listen to it once and then repeat the whole thing after me. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on his thumb with a knick-knack. Patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Here we go. One, two, ready, sing. All right, like I said, next week we're going to start using the iPads, or if you have a keyboard at home, you can use that to start to learn how to play the piano. In preparation for that, I'm just going to show you on my iPad how we get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find and open up GarageBand. Now I already have it set on the piano here, but if you don't, you're going to want to go to My Songs in the top left. If you've already used GarageBand at all, there will probably be some different things here. So what you're going to click is you're going to click again on the top left, the little plus mark, to start a new song. And one of two things will pop up. You will have either these, which kind of show you some different instruments that you can use to create your song, or you'll be in the live loops, which will look something like this. We want to make sure that we are in the tracks option where you can slide back and forth and pick a different instrument. Then you're going to find the one that says keyboard and looks like a piano. The other thing there is you're going to click the second one here that says alchemy synth. We don't want to click the smart piano on the left. We want the second one. So here it brought up something that looks kind of like a piano, but this is a synthesizer. And if I play it, it doesn't sound like much of a piano and it'll be kind of difficult for you to learn. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the little gray bar at the top here. And you are going to find Oh, I lost it. Oh, you're going to click back to the main categories. Click up at the top keyboards. And click classical grand, which is the second keyboard here. You'll click done. And it will bring up a nice keyboard. One more thing that we need to do, though, is it says glissando in the middle here. There's a little dot thing in the middle, and we want to switch that to scroll so that we can scroll over our piano a little bit. So this C3, this C3 is right on kind of in the middle of our keyboard because we'll use this to play some of our patterns like this do me do re ti re do mi so so fa re ti re so mi so do re ti so so mi do so we'll get to play those patterns either on your ipad or if by chance you have a keyboard or piano at home you'll get to use that so we're going to spend this next nine weeks really kind of working on learning the piano a little bit, especially since those of us who are might be back in school, uh, we're still not going to be able to sing in class. All right, I will see you next week. Have a good week.